Hi, welcome to another new video. So in today's video, we'll be talking about Volcano Violet. Volcano Violet is one of the colors in the uh, Volcano series of uh, super granulation colors. Uh, that's really special mean Corridor Aquarel. Um, and we, this is probably the last color in the, the Volcano series. There are five colors in there. We have looked at um, the, for, 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 the four colors. Um, so the pigments, uh, the pigments that made up uh, the, the Volcano Violet are PV62, PR108. We are all familiar with PR108 because it is our volcano red. In fact, it is um, cadmium red. <laughs> okay, and um, the next, the other, the other pigment is uh, cobalt uh, violet hue, uh, which is a very pretty uh, granulating uh, violet color. Um, so when we look at the uh, pigment, pigment information for the paint, uh, it is a semi-transparent color. Um, has four star in the uh, light fastness rating, so it's good light fastness. It is semi staining, um, and it's granulating. And when we look at the swatch, you will actually see um, that uh, when we compare the lines before and after uh, the paint, there isn't much of a difference between the um, the line that's laid down before the paint and after. Um, so that 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 kind of a show kind of demonstrate that it is not uh, the, the the it's not too opaque. Um, and in, if you apply it um, at a if you apply it at a high concentration or undiluted, you get it get this really maroon red color, and then when when you dilute it down uh, with more water, you start to see more of that purple coming out. Um, so you do see the color kind of range from a red to a purple color, especially when it's diluted. And when we examine the uh, pigment in water test, uh, you will actually see uh, that the red pigment, the PR108, coming out, um, dropping out where you put your, your brush dab onto the paper, and that uh, cobalt violet hue just coming off, like, uh, separating out to the side. Um, whereas the, pig the water in pigment test, I don't really see very much of that pushing, of the pigment pushing out, um, probably around here, but it's not very, um, probably I didn't use enough water or not enough paint. Let's see if we can actually remove the, the paint um, to, to just test for that, that staining uh, property. So as you can see, I'm able to just take out maybe the red, um, but not the full, not, not, I can't restore the paper to its uh, a formal unpainted state. So uh, yeah, that's probably uh, why it is a semi staining color. And uh, now let's try to do uh, uh, to glaze it just to see if it would um, give you a nice kind of opaque glaze. So this is with the one layer. And then just gonna kind of throw in that layer. So as you can see, when we layer the color down, it's kind of a maroon, a, a, a maroon color. Um, not different from like, is it a dark uh, purple maroon color? Quite a nice color, in fact. So this is with four layers. As you can see, it does, it does get um, quite opaque. Okay. So when we look at the gradient test, where we drop the water, we, when we drop the pigment down at the top of the strip of water, you see that brick pigment just dropping down like quickly at the top, and then you know the uh, the, the the purple pigment just going um, together with the water down, separating into red and, and purple color. So if you do have a diluted mixture, um, and and you just let the water and the pigment, you let the pigment move, you you will have a very nice purple red um, separation, which is which is pretty nice, which is quite beautiful. When we mix this color with the 12 colors of the color wheel, um, you do see that um, because it's a red color, it doesn't really do much to the, the, the warmer colors like the red, orange, and the violet. Violet, purple, and magenta color doesn't do much at all. Um, and if, if you mix it with the red, uh, with the blues, you get, um, you, you get more purple color tone over here. I, I especially like how it actually mixes with the greens and some of the, 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 the yellows and makes quite a nice, beautiful orange color. So think of it as uh, your volcano red um, and plus some violet color. So you do get it to look a bit darker um, when, when you have, um, when you mix it with the like, yellow color, the complementary color of uh, purple or fur violet. Um, 
Um, similar colors, so I'm, I'm comparing it uh, to the colors in Daniel Smith. Um, the tone um, at a high, uh, high concentration, like uh, when you use it neat, uh, the mass tone, is probably close to these, probably the Nephamite Maroon. Uh, but other than that, I don't think you get something similar because this one has a beautiful separation which you can't get from the other, uh, other colors. It's made up of PV62, which is Cobalt, Blue, uh, cobalt Violet Hue. Um, and PR108 by uh, Volcano Red. So these two color, um, I was able to mix it and I think um, somehow, somehow I find that the actual color is a little bit more, more maroon or, or like kind of brownish, more brown than what, what I was able to get. Color when used, uh, you know, undiluted gives you a really nice maroon, um, or thick, thick maroon color, which is over there, dark red color. And when you kind of um, dilute it, it, it separates out into uh, the, the red pigment and also the, the violet pigment. So that is, that's probably unseen. I don't think there's any um, maroon color that, uh, that is single pigment and that's granulating. So it's worthwhile getting it if you really need to use a lot of maroon. I think it will look really nice in like paintings of uh, flowers, especially like um, um, orchids, especially those that has got the uh, purple and violet um, dark maroon spots. This color will look beautiful uh, on it. I think it will probably look really nice in, in floral, floral painting, Bot botanical art. So yeah, let's see how I used it in a short front painting. This is what I did uh, with the um, vi Volcano Violet. I use it mainly on uh, these spots where it's actually uh, the canopy and also some of these uh, uh, tiles uh, for, the, for, the, for the relief um, of, the, of, the sh of the shop. Um, I did mix it with some of the uh, colors over here. Like I think I mixed it with the, gold, uh, the brown ochre, so giving you this like a brown, like a burnt sienna color. I think especially over here as well, the trunks you do see some of that purple coming out when I mix it with a transparent earthy brown. Um, you do, do see these uh, kind of texture. Um, when you mix it with the green, it's able to get these uh, really dark colors over here, which is pretty nice, like a brown. So this is like a umber color, which is also pretty nice. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it. And maybe I'll mix it. I think I mix it with the Jizoza that gives you a really nice um, uh, interior, a dark tone, a, a dark color over here. Um, yeah, so this is how I use it in a shop front painting. We come to the end of the video. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see similar content. I would like to see you in the next one. Bye bye.